Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to review some products from Coltac. Now this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time because uh, there's a lot of confusion on the internet as to what suppressor cover you should buy and for what application. So we're going to cover that today. We're also going to take a look at some other products that Coltac makes. Let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, let's start this off with how to choose the proper cover. Okay, so the, all the problems I've seen online have to do with people taking a Mirage cover and putting it on an SBR or machine gun, running a class with it. Those are for protecting your legs, right? So if you run a mag dump or if you're getting in and out of a training car to not melt the seats, seat belts, your clothing, your legs, whatever. If you run the Mirage cover on that can and you do a mag dump, I guarantee this outer covering over the Nomex is going to melt. That is why they invented the HTP. So you have the high temperature Python and the Python. Heat Mirage mitigation, protection. Okay, so this is for protecting you. So basically it's the same outer sheath, you just have a high temperature inner liner that goes inside here, okay, and wraps around the can and it mitigates any possibility of having the outer sheath melt. Now, why would you need a heat mirage cover? Well, to mitigate the heat coming off of the suppressor. So take this off. I guarantee with this 6.5 Creedmoor, and we'll test it later, that probably 10 to 15 rounds shot, you know, one every couple seconds, will, will, will radiate enough heat off this can to disrupt my view in the scope. And you already have, on a hot day, a environmental heat mirage downrange. So you don't need to add any, <laughs> any more heat to the mix. So basically, you secure the Coltac cover nice and tight. And his differs from the bungee cord types that you see out there. You can really ratchet this on. And if you have a friend, you can have one of them hold the gun for you. I mean, you can get this thing so tight, it will not come off. Okay. Now... While we're on the subject, while we're on mounting the cover onto the can, placement is very important. So when you order one, I'll get to that in a second, make sure you measure it so it's not gonna cover any latches that you have to depress or whatnot. But more importantly, is just how tight you can get these covers and why it's important. If while you're shooting, I'm gonna have to loosen it to demonstrate this. If while you're shooting, under recoil, the cover starts to slip forward, boom, 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 and you have this little edge here. I don't know if the camera is going to see it, but this is going to produce a false crown. So if your cover goes past the end cap of the suppressor, when those gases come out and disperse around the tail end of the bullet, it'll actually cause point of impact shift. So you'll either move the grouping or you'll actually have the grouping open up. Both are bad and uh, you don't want to do that. So it is very imperative, especially if you're going to shoot a match, that your cover stays in place and Coltac definitely has you covered there. Pun intended. So now to order this, Coltac kind of has like a customization thing going on. So you basically go to their website, you get to pick the length, the diameter, uh, the colors, the buckle system, whether or not you want the HTP, the high temperature Python, or just the Python, the Mirage. Um, so pretty much uh, should cover everything that has to do with covers and now hopefully many of you out there won't misuse them. Let's go ahead and cover some of the other products that Coltac makes. All right, while we're on the subject of precision shooting, let's go ahead and cover their rear bag. So they have the boss bag and then the big boss bag. It is what it is, just a larger bag. Again, now you can go to their website and you can customize uh, what color you want this to come in. I do know that when I did a giveaway with an Armalite AR-50 last year, um, it required a much bigger bag and he actually made a custom one for the winner of that gun. So if you have some sort of custom project, I'm sure you can send uh, Coltac an email and they can work with you if you have a 50 BMG problem. Um, so I have some here in black and multicam. So it has some neat features, uh, has a little handle on it so you can grab it and you can squeeze and you can raise the rear elevation of the stock 
And then of course, if you need to set it and forget it, it has a little pull tab here that you can pull and tighten it to your specified level, set it and forget it, and you're good to go. So that's well thought out and at a good price point. And then when you're done with the range shooting your precision guns, all you guys out there, I know you are brass hogs. You like to save everything. Um, you can actually set this up kind of near the ejection port, throw all your brass in there when you're good to go. Has a drawstring that you can carry all your brass home. Um, I filled these up quite a bit. I don't know the exact count, but I know as far as 6.5 Creedmoor brass, it can definitely hold over 200 rounds. So that's a pretty cool product. Again, all customizable. So you can kind of match, mix match, do any color combo you want to meet the requirements of your end project. Now let's cover two new products that Coltac just released. Now one, the Vulcan pouch, which is a, a heat insulated suppressor pouch is already on their website. So basically what you have here is the same thing as a suppressor cover, except in a pouch form. So you can take that hot can, so you can throw it in here at the end of a range session and not have to wait for your can to cool down. So uh, this is pretty cool. Now many of you probably think, well, if I have the suppressor cover, I can just throw it on there, but what's exposed? You got the rear and the front cap would be exposed. And if you have any um, ballistic nylon carrying cases, which we all use or something like that, uh, it would obviously melt. So with this, I ordered this, this um, pouch I spec'd it large so I can fit a large assortment of my suppressors in there so it's not specific to any one type. Drop it in there, close it, and it's all length adjustable, and you're good to go. So you can shoot your last string, throw it in your pouch, and haul ass and get out of there. It also has a Molly attachment system on the back, or you can also throw it on your belt if you wanted to go hiking with it or whatnot. So that is already on the website. Now what I'm about to show you now is not on the website at the filming of this video. This actually just came in the mail to me yesterday. Uh, this, was, this is the first production shooting mat uh, that they've come out with. So he shipped it and it was so awesome. I had to film this video for you guys. So if you kind of take a look at their entire product lineup, it's all down to business stuff. There's no flair. It's this is how it works. This is how we're gonna uh, mitigate heat. This is how we're going to do this. There's no extra crap hanging off it that's going to raise the price on stuff. So minimalist mindset, but with functionality of mats that are much larger. Um, so basically what they're going to do, and I'm pretty sure they're still on the same mindset, is they're going to offer a, a padded version, which is what this is for your elbows, and a non-padded version, and I believe a version where you can actually take the pad in and out. Now. I discussed that over the phone with him and I haven't talked to him yet. I'm filming the video before I give him feedback so you guys understand my feedback before I talk to him. I think he should just release the one with the pad because you know what? If this is the one with the pad, I mean, you can put this in any pack and go hiking with it, add it to your range gear, go to the range, shoot from the back of your truck, from the top of a, of a mountain, wherever you live, and uh, it's not going to take up much space. This is with the pad in it. And it just, it just didn't take up enough room, and I wouldn't want one without a pad. They are not comfortable. So this kind of offers that minimalistic shooting mat that, we all, that we've all seen, but with a really thin pad in it that actually works. And that's not even the best feature. But I'll show you how easy it unrolls. Bada bing. It unrolls, and one of the coolest features is at the front. So you have these wings, okay, so you can protect your shoulders however you shoot. The coolest feature is this. This will preload your bipod legs. So you take this and there's, there's a cordage on each side. So if you're a right-handed shooter or a left, you can adjust the mat however you wish. And then you have this, it's also length adjustable. So you put this around the legs on the bipod, tighten it up, and now you can preload your, your bipod without having to put it in, on rocks, sand, grass, you can preload it right here in front of the mat. It doesn't matter what surface you're shooting off of. You'll be able to push forward with your own body weight, retaining the mat. So it's actually really well thought out. Now there's other companies out there that have a bipod rail built in that use foam and you preload the legs and push the legs against that little foam ridge. It works, but sometimes the gun does slip off, especially if you're shooting a Magnum cartridge. Now the 6.5 on this thing, not going to be a big deal but I cannot wait to test this out. 
Speaking of which, let's go ahead. I'm going to pack all this up. We're going to go to the range and I'm going to try to T and E all this stuff that I can and show you guys just how it performs. All right, everybody, we made it out here to the Aries range out in Leesburg where I hold some of my shooting events. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the Coltac products to the test. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out the uh, shooting mat here. I have the rear bag with me. I have the uh, Vulcan pouch and a suppressor cover. So um, what I'm going to try to do today is I got here pretty early, so I don't have much uh, environmental heat down range. It's about 10 a.m. here in Florida, although it is muggy, muggy, muggy. Um, I'm going to try to get before and after footage. So what I'm going to do is shoot a string, okay, without the cover on. And then I'm going to try to get the camera to pick up through the scope view so you can see if there's any heat mirage, okay? This is pretty done here. And then I'm going to put the cover back on and see what it looks like after another string. We'll do a scope view again and uh, see if it helped any. I have my brass bag here for the empty casings, my Vulcan pouch for later, and uh, the rear bags. Yeah, we're all set. All right, everybody, got the gun in position. Uh, the bipod strap I put on the furthest one. Uh, I had to do that because of the platform I'm on. I have to push the gun so far forward, and I, I had to push the mat far back, and my feet are kind of hanging off. This place out here is completely flooded from all the rain we have, so this is my only option. So luckily the mat is customizable, so I was able to jerry-rig it like this. I have it in the furthest configuration, and my elbows are still comfortable on the padding. So uh, let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. I got 10 rounds in here, shooting at 300 yards today. Oh, that's nice, you can preload that. Really nice. It actually grabs on that atlas nice and positive. All right, let's see if my ballistic calculator was on today. I need to take these off. Whatever. You can't see it's so, so humid out here today. Oh, I'm on. Let's do this quick. Heat up this can. Rear bag's doing a good job of making it repeatable. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but making small adjustments by squeezing my fingers. That's all you need. A couple more. I'm sure that round came up. I didn't feel it load. Nope. Come on, baby. No, oh, we got one in the pipe. Let's see. Let's try that again. Bad primer, maybe? No, but I pulled it. I'm getting a lot of heat mirage here. Some video here. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is without the suppressor cover. We got some heat, definite heat coming off the barrel. And then um got some heat radiating off the field out there as well. It's starting to warm up here in Florida, but a lot of mirage, a lot of mirage. You go ahead and put this cover on, get it nice and tight. You can really Really wrench on this thing, it is not going anywhere.
already looks better. It's gonna be hard to show you guys on the video, but you can definitely tell the difference between the Mirage coming from the end of the gun and Mirage down range out in the field. Uh, but my target's definitely a lot easier to see than it was at the end of that last string. Here goes nothing. <laughs> this thing ejects so far, like all the brass is just going right into the mud. <laughs> oh well. You make a little wall here. Nope. This gun is so satisfying to shoot. I mean, we are shooting 6.5 Creedmoor at 300 yards, which is like the equivalent of shooting a 22 point blank at a target hanging in front of your face. And it's still fun. These mags aren't the most reliable though, for feeding. Am I cover moving at all? Doesn't look like it. Well, no heat coming off the end of the gun. What in the world? It's like when we get down to the last two, it does this. Oh, I still got one in there. You know what it is. I have not cleaned this gun and uh, I don't think I cleaned it once. <laughs> that chamber is probably a little dirty and the casing sticky. Still, we're. Shooting a pretty fast string here. No heat coming off the end of that barrel. Sweet. All right, let's see what this puppy looks like. All right, this is the view. Looking through with the Mirage cover on. You could definitely see an improvement for sure. No heat coming off the end of the barrel. You see a little heat Mirage downrange and that is it, so. Again, it's going to be hard to show this on the video, guys, but this product does work and works damn well. All right, let's do a little test of the HTP. Have the M16 lower here from Serbu Firearms. Let's go ahead and see what it will do. Let's see if it moves. I tightened it down as well as I could. Let's see how it does for some leg protection as well. Got a malfunction. All right, topped off the mag. Let's continue. Nice. Very well done. So we did over 30 rounds, full auto. Let me take off my ear so I don't yell at you guys. And uh, holding it right against my, here I hold it against the nylon shirt. I'll sacrifice it for you guys if it melts. No, I'm not getting any heat off. I can actually hold it. That's pretty impressive, because uh, <laughs> you guys know just how hot these, these cans get, especially under full out of fire. I mean, the, the cover moved about an eighth of an inch or so, but then it stayed. It just stayed put after that. Awesome. Well, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely a little longer than you're used to saying, but we did cover an entire product lineup, not just one item. I would say the product that's standing out the most here 
to me would be the shooting mat, but, but that's just because I already have a lot of time with his suppressor covers. I'm already used to seeing the night and day difference of not having one and then adding one. Um, guys, this is going to be really hard. I haven't reviewed the footage, obviously, because I'm still here filming, but I, I, I could tell just looking through the lens of the camera that it's going to be hard to translate to you guys at home, but rest assured, it works and it works well and it is very hard to shoot more than 10 rounds without one in place if you want to see anything that you're hitting downrange. Now back to the mat, um, it was my first time using it today. When you, got, when you saw me set this up, that was it. That was my first time ever using it. The bipod leg load strap, phenomenal idea, perfect execution. It had, you, you have four spots on the left and four on the right so you can adjust it however you need to. I found the perfect spot for me when shooting off this platform today that I was uh, using to keep myself out of the mud. Um, about the only thing I would add as an improvement, I guess you could say, if I had to nitpick, would be maybe to add an option to do like a, like a clear slot, like a three-sided sewn-in slot where you can drop in like a dope card or something, and maybe some Velcro areas on the wings that you could attach different cartridge cards to uh, to swap it out depending on what caliber bolt gun you're shooting that day. Really doesn't need all that stuff. Um, that's just fancy pants stuff. Uh, but if I had to add something, that's probably what I would add. Other than that, get it with the padding for sure because when I was shooting on this wood today, it was very nice to have that foam padding rested against my elbows all day. Um, and the Vulcan pouch, that speaks for itself, and the rear bag made shooting the, string, the strings extremely easy. I mean, I was only shooting uh, on and off camera anywhere from three to 500 yards. That's as far as I can shoot right here where I'm at, and piece of cake. It's rock solid with this setup. Um, so I didn't have any issues with the covers coming loose. I had no heat mirage. The gun didn't move because of the legs were strapped in. The rear bag was perfect. I can make minute adjustments by squeezing it. I guess the end story here is Coltac's kind of a one-stop shop for customizable gear to make your life a little easier. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it translated somewhat clear back home. We'll see later, like I said, when I get to the editing. But without a doubt, awesome products. They all work. And if you want to save on your own, use promo code NFA review. Again, thanks for watching. Click that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.